All right. Well, could you please introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about your background? Okay. I am Wilbur Manson, and I'm a candidate for re-election to the Bowen County Board of Education District 1. I was born and reared in Millersville, Baldwin County, Georgia. Uh, I am a proud product of the Baldwin County Public School System. I received a Bachelor of Arts degree from the Fort Valley State University in pre-social work, Fort Valley, Georgia. I also earned a Master of Social Work degree from Wayne State University, Detroit, Michigan. And I've been a, basically a lifelong resident of, Mill of Millersville. Okay. And can you tell me why you were running um, for the Baldwin County Board of uh, Education? Well, I am a candidate for re-election because it is my desire to continue the great progress that we have made during the past four years. There remain a great deal of work that need to be done in this system. All right. And can you tell me what do you feel, in your opinion, is the most important issue facing the Baldwin County Board of Education? The most important issue to me, I think, is the graduation rate. Four years ago, Baldwin County's graduation rate was at 56 percent. Today, the graduation rate is 77 percent. As you can see, we are closing the gap on this state standard, which is 80 percent. I am confident that if re-elected within the next year or two, we will not only meet this standard, but will exceed it. One of the issues are our current dropout rate. Although our dropout rate has shown tremendous decrease over the past few years, it remains unacceptably high. I will use all available and existing resources, school, county, and city to address this grave concern. When any student is not in school and unsupervised, they are essentially in the streets with nothing constructive to do. Data has shown consistently that a dropout is more likely to participate in petty criminal activities within three to six months after leaving school. This is a problem our community does not deserve. I will diligently work to, to decrease this rate. And now in your opinion, what, is, what issue or issues are most important to the voters in the first district? The issues I feel that is most important to our citizens at this time is the economy. School as it relates to school funding, local taxes, the job market, uh, and just the general overall quality of life. We are all too familiar with teacher furlough layoff, a four day school week, longer work days, as well as increased class sizes, and some school closures, all due to uh, cuts in education funding. To address this concern of the citizen, I voted against the four day school week. I voted against a tax increase and I also voted against teacher layoff. Our, our current economy has severely affected all of our citizens. I will continue to exercise sp uh, prudence in spending to meet the needs of our students. Another issue I feel that our citizens are concerned about are high academic performance. During the past four years, when I began serving on the board, there was only one school out of six that had passed AYP, Adequate Yearly Progress. Today, there are only two schools out of six that have not passed AYP. I applaud this progress that we have made, but I feel we can do better. Passing AYP is an indicator that our students are receiving quality education. Passing AYP is not only important to our schools, it is also important to the Baldwin County community. No company or industry would consider relocating to our community with underperforming schools. Therefore, I would continue to support strong programs to increase student academic performance. Right. Now, I'd just like to ask you, when you're reelected, 
What will be your first priority when you go into that next term of office? When I'm reelected, I will ensure that all necessary actions and plans are in place to pass AYP system wide. I will also work to support more classroom instructions for our students rather than less instructions. I will also work to meet and or exceed all state standards in the next few years. I will also work to increase higher standards of academic performance to make our students more competitive in this global society. Okay, and um, now I want to get to the, um, the issue of the election. Why should the voters in the first district vote for Wilbur Manson? The voters, I feel, should vote for me because, first of all, I am an experienced board member. I am trained and certificated as a board member by GSBA. I have four years of productive performance as a board member. I am most committed with an excellent record of attendance at all call and regular scheduled meetings. I have a strong student achievement orientation and I feel I am a great friend of academic excellence. Okay. And um, now I'd just like to ask you if, if there are voters out there who are watching this and want to become involved in your campaign, how can they reach out to you? Anyone who is interested in assisting me in this campaign can contact me at my home. Phone number is 478-452-6976. My address is 1954 Twin Oak Drive, Millersville, 31061. Okay. And um, just now while I have you here, are there any other thoughts or comments you have at this time or anything else you'd like to share with the voters in Baldwin County's 1st District? Yes, I would like to share with the voters in the 1st District. I want to thank them for the term of office that I have served. And I appreciate the trust that they have put in me. And I trust that my performance has been more than satisfactory.